Example 8, 11 and 12. Let's start with example 8. You can see this space here on the right um, with, with the points D, A, B, C and the origin. And the vectors here, I and J, are the unit vectors that we've been talking about already in this exercise. Okay, so if we're going to use these vectors to find the other vectors, in other words, from the origin to A and is part I and origin to B is part two. So let's have a look at that. Um, I could use this color here, why not? Uh, if I was to draw on this here, from here to here, I have traveled, it's the origin to A. I've traveled one, two in the I direction and I've traveled up three in the J direction. Okay, so I just rubbed them out. So now I know that uh, O to A is actually equal to two in the I direction plus three in the J direction. And I think that green's a bit bright for these ones. So O to B, I can just move a bit quickly here. So I've got one, two, three, four in the I direction. I should write equals, equals four times I plus um, one times J, which I can just write as that, and so on. Part three is O to C. Okay, so now you need to notice that we're going in the positive direction for I, so O to C is equal to i, we just step one, and then we're going minus two j. So that way we're keeping um, i and j are still positive vectors, so in the positive direction. So to go in this direction, we've got to move in the negative of that direction, okay? So part four is o to d, so once again, we're looking at some negatives here. I'm going to go one, two, O to D is going to go into minus two times I. Okay, so I'm going to move negative in, in the negative direction for I. And we're going up, so that's positive for J, one, two, three, plus three J, excuse me. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward so far. Um, part B, wants to use the I vectors to find A to B and B to C. So there's two ways of doing this, okay? So just reading off the graph, um, it's pretty obvious that uh, we, we would go one, well, it's black there, so let's use a red. So we'd go one, two, so that's two I, and then down, down, so that's minus two J when we're moving in that direction. Um, so there's that, that's one way of looking at um, A to B. So you could see straight away that it's two I minus two J. But another way of looking at it is, so don't forget this way, okay, so also, um, sorry, that was A to B. Let me just move that all over. Um, A to B is equal to that. But another way, don't forget, is that um, A to B is equal to the origin to the second one, O to B, minus the origin to the first one, which would be equal to um, 4 I minus, well, I can do it in one step here. Well, anyhow, 4I plus J is O to B minus um, 2I plus 3J. And as we've seen before, when we're working with components like this, 
this is 4 minus 2 times i plus 1 minus 3 times j equals 2i minus 2j. Okay, so lucky for us, that is the same. Um, and you could do something similar with uh, part 2 where um, from B to C if we um, so once again you could it's equal to O to C subtract O to B so that's 1 minus 4i so minus 3i and minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3j but also we can see here that um, it is 1 2 3 so minus 3j and minus 3i or minus 3i and minus 3j, whichever way you look at it. So there's two ways to look at that one, again, um, but in the end, b to c will equal minus 3i minus 3j. And let me just add some room here. Um, <coughs> the um, other one they want is for get the magnitudes of the vectors AB and BC. So if we remember that the magnitude of a vector is just the square of the um, values multiplying the unit vectors. So the magnitude of AB is equal to, well, the square root, sorry, of two squared plus minus two squared equals um, eight square, the square root of eight equals two times root two. And that was part one. Part two is BC. So um, the magnitude of B to C is equal to the square root of minus 3 squared plus minus 3 squared equals the square root of 18 equals 3 times root 2. Okay, so let's move on to example 11, which has already got these vectors written in their component form or based on the unit vector. So, uh, if a is equal to xi plus 3j and b is equal to 8i plus 2yj, such that a plus b equals this, two, minus 2i two um, plus 4j. So, we know, so what's the values of x and y? So, um, x plus 8 has to equal minus 2. That means that um, uh, subtract 8 from both sides, x has to equal minus 10. And from the other one, we've got 2y. So 2y times j. So don't forget to make a vector the same as any other vector. The multiples of each individual component has to be same. You can't sort of make it up with extra bits of the other ones, so to speak. So 2y plus 3 equals 4. Okay, so this is the 2y and 3j has to equal the 4, okay, because we're finding out what a plus b is. So 2y equals um, 1, and therefore y is equal to uh, half. All right, so that's that done. Let me reduce some space this time. I'll just bring this up. Right, so example 12, last one. Um, we're given these, vec well, they're given these points, A, B, and C, and the origin is O. What is the, um, what is 
this in far as uh, component form goes okay so if we think back to example was it eight I think it was example eight yep example eight um, and we think about the grid that that was drawn on then um, it's it gets pretty straightforward okay so O to A is simply um, we're going to move two in the I direction and minus three in the J direction. Let's not forget to call them by their vectors, unit vectors names. And in um, part two, uh, A to B, well, that's just equal to, um, uh, well, you can say OA, so OB minus OA, okay, so because we've got two vectors here that aren't the origin, and it's uh, that's always going to be true, okay, if you remember what I said in the first example. Um, and the other way of looking at it is, uh, from our last question, what would it be, okay? So, um, oh, I'll leave it as that. So O to B, so it would be equal to uh, some magical number, okay, so... Um, so another way of looking at it is so from O to from this point A to B. Okay, so um, what is it? So um, so it would equal uh, the point at B. So that whatever it is that we add to A would land us at B, okay? And um, that's O to B, A, A to B, sorry. And so one way of looking at it is A plus something equals B. So another way of looking at it is B minus A equals the A to B, okay? So let's use all that. So A to B is going to equal um, B minus the A. So, um, 1 minus 2 is minus i plus 4 minus minus 3 is 7 of j and 3 b to c using the same principle okay so um, c plus something equals b so b minus c will equal that something okay so um, a um, sorry b plus something will equal c so c minus that's b will equal that something so minus one minus one is minus two i and um Minus three minus four is plus seven. Sorry, minus three minus four is minus seven j. Okay, so that is part A. Part B, I think we've got room to do that here, is find f such that O to F is equal to half of O to A. So in other words, it's just halfway along, okay? So if O to A is equal to, um, what do we say that was? 2I two I, two I minus 3J, then a half of that has to equal I minus 3 on 2J. Okay, so if that's what um, O to A, half of O to A equals, o to, if O to F equals that, that means that F is equal to the point where, so we've got one times I and minus three on two times J. And is this one going to be a little bit more complicated? Let's have a look. C um, so we've got to find G such that A to G equals 
3 times b to c. So it's b to c we've got here, so multiply everything by 3, it's minus 6i. And um, uh, multiply by 3, sorry, um, minus 21j. Okay, so that's a to g. And if we go back to the same way that I figured out from uh, one point to another point, not including the origin. Okay, so um, a to g is equal to um, o to g minus a to g. Min my, sorry, minus o to a. So, um, Let's put it in here. Um, a to G is minus 6J, minus 21. Where'd that J come from? We know all know I meant I. I made a mistake there. All right, and um, is equal to OG, minus O to A is uh, Two i minus three j, and um, if we add or subtract is the same as adding two, so subtract this vector here over to the other side, um, then so plus two i becomes minus four i minus twenty one plus three becomes minus. 18 j equals o to g so that means that g must equal minus 4 minus 18 and I made a mistake have I where did I make my mistake I did not make a mistake. Just looking at the text version here, I think they've made a mistake. Um, so that's minus 21, correct. And adding Oh, that's where I made a mistake. When we do subtract, I should have had a bracket here. So that's the plus. Okay, great. So then that makes, um, so minus 21 minus 3, to get rid of that there, makes minus 24j. Okay, so there's a simple mistake. I should have had the brackets around there. All right, so that's those three exercises done. You know what questions need to be done with them.